What's good everyone? It's Sefi Black here. I'm a Tekken player from Germany who's traveling and competing in Tekken for over 10 years. I used to main Miguel, but since he's not there anymore, I'm trying our other characters like Dragunov, Shaheen and Victor. Victor is a very strong character in this game, so you did a good pick on him if you're trying to learn him. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dashfight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC related. In this video, we are talking about the newcomer in Tekken 8, Victor Chavalier. He is a very popular character already because of his unique and fashion style. <laughs> he is fighting with his weapons. This is not just a decoration. He is really using all of his weapons that you can see. And overall, he is a very strong character with amazing with Punisher, great keep out and mix up tools and decent pokes. Since Victor's stronger moves have great range, space properly and then attack your opponent, they will struggle to fight back since most of his tools are having pushback. Besides of the usual game plan of Victor, he also can mix up his opponent pretty well with his two stances. One of them is the Perfumer stance, which he can enter with forward 3 manually or through different moves like back 1 into forward or down back 1-1 one, one into forward. His other stance is the Yai stance. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> it's the Yai stance. Manually, you can press 3 plus 4 to go into the stance. There you also got different tools like highs, mids and lows. There are also moves that goes into the stance. For example, his 12 frame punisher. Or in general, his quads 4-2. So using these mix-up tools are also quite helpful during your fight with Victor. Let's talk about the best pokes of Victor. These are 1-2, a generic jab string, with an extension though, <laughs> which gives wall split and is a counter at launcher. 1-1-2, one, one, that is his regular 10 frame punish. You can just go for the 1-1 one, one. if you see someone is whiffing, go for the 2. Then you got the classic down for one, which also has an extension down for one one. Uh, down for one is minus two on block and plus four on hit, and it tracks um, to his left. So if someone is doing sides the bright, down for one tracks in this direction. Then you got the down four. It's minus three on hit, and um, on counter you get something guaranteed. There's a guaranteed follow. -up. It also tracks quite well. Then you got as a mid down 2, has good range, is 0 on block and also is heat engager. If he is in heat, if you heat dash, it's a full launcher. Then we got down back 1-1, one, one, 14 frame mid mid string. If you press forward, you're going into his perfumer stance. It is safe as well and also weapon, so not parryable. And as the last poke, down 3. Down 3 is an alternative to down 4, has less risk but also less reward since uncounted nothing is guaranteed. But it's only minus 13 on block, so not launch punishable for some characters. So let's talk about the mix-up and OK options of Victor. I tried to keep it short and simple, but from his neutral he got only a few options for mix-ups. The most known and important ones are his Wild Running 2. Wild Running 2 is on counter the launcher and is also plus frames. This is his mid option that he's mixing up with down big 4. Down big 4 also is a counter launcher, has very long range. and also is plus on hit. Then he got his Perfumer stance, where he also got decent mix-ups. From his Perfumer stance, manually forward 3, he got a low, this is Perfumer 1, which is only minus 13 on block and plus 4 on hit, leads both of you to crouch. So an uninterruptible wise standing 2 is guaranteed. Then he got Perfumer 3, the Heat Engager, which is also a wall split, safe wall split team. And he got the Pressure Tool, 
um, Perfumer 1 plus 2, which is plus and block. And he got the Perfumer 4, which is his homing if people want to sidestep the options. His other stance is the EI stance. And in this stance, he can also mix up your opponent pretty well. There he got the EI 4, which is a low. Also got an extension with the 2. But it only connects on counter hit. So only use this. As a mid, he got the EI2. Wall split, safe. Long range. Or 1-1. One, one. Kind of fit confirmable. Or the power crush free, which is minus 14 on block, but gives wall split. And his last mix-up options he got are from his full crouch. His full crouch game is quite good. He got the full crouch down 1 plus 2, which is a low, low high string. It is launch punishable on block though, so be careful if you want to use it as a mix up or while standing 1 plus 2. This is also his 30 frame punish. It's safe and leads to good plus frames on hit. And from his full crouch, he also got Y standing 2, which is his counter launcher. Safe counter launcher, 40 frame, sword, so also not parryable. So let's talk about the most important pressure tools and getting plus frames out of them. These are, like mentioned before, while running 2, plus 5, counter launcher, good tracking, so it also needs to be listed here. Besides of that, you got Perfuma 1 plus 2. Perfuma 1 plus 2 is also a good pressure tool. Plus 4 on block, gives wall split. And yeah, you can um, use uh, Perfuma 1 plus 2 out of down back 1 1, for example. Or back 1 forward. You need to press forward um, after pressing these tools. Then you got Yai 1 plus 2 which is also a great tool but unfortunately it's a high it's plus three on block though and a knockout on normal hit besides of that it, the same properties are yai one one plus two but the string is stackable so be aware of it and you got yai down two down two is plus one on block so you can continue to pressure your opponent. And what is also a decent tool in the neutral is down to. Down to is also a heat engager, 80 frames fast, and leads you to a good position. On block it's zero, so annoying your opponent with that is very helpful. So let's get into the punishers of Victor. These are for 10 frame and 11. 1-1-2. One, one, A decent, kind of hit confirmable 10 frame punish. Plus 3 on hit. So quite well. His 12 frame punish is 3, 1 plus 2. For 30 damage, plus 5. Or 2-2-2. Two, two, two which leads him to the Yai stance for mix-ups. His 13 frame punish, he has got up for 1-1, one, one, which is also a wall split. Down for 4-2 for mix-up, but then you can also go for 2-2-2, two, two, two. but it starts with the mid, the down for 4-2, or down for 1-1, one, one, which is plus 7 on hit. For his 14 frame punish, he got 4-2, for his 14 frame punish, he got 4 to 4 1, which is also a wall split, heat engager as well. Or 4 to 4 2. If you don't want to get into heat, then forward 4 2 is your punish to go. As a 15 frame punish, he's got down for 2 or up for 4. Both are not parable. As a 17 frame punish, you're using for long range. You're using back free one. Back free one has better range than any other punish. On this range, on range 2.8 or 2.9, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.17, 4.18, 4.19,
for your wire sending punish 11 frames, you're using wire sending 4. For 13 frame, you're using up for 1 1. The, because of the up forward input, you can also use it as a while standing punish or while standing 1 plus 2. Which leads to more plus frames and is less damage than up forward 1 1. As a 15 frame punish, you're using while standing 1, which is a launcher, but also launch punishable on block or up forward 4. Also worth mentioning as a 15 frame punish for longer range is his heat engager power crush back 1 plus 2. Also has great range if you want to punish something from distance. Back 1 plus 2 is the way to go. So let's talk about the heat moves of Victor. These are also very good neutral tools so you should always use them as good as possible these are for example down to it's zero on block on hit it's plus four and the opponent is crouch and when you heat dash it's a full combo then you got his 40 frame punish forward for one it's a mid high string when in heat you get a guaranteed follow-up then um, there is four one plus two a long range sword which is safe and it's also a launcher if you're heat dashing. Then we got the back 1 plus 2. It's a 50 frame power crush and heat engager, which also leads to guaranteed follow. -up. And last but not least, we got a perfumer 3, which is also a heat engager and it's a, a launcher in heat while victor is in heat he also got a special move which is down back one plus two this is a move which leads him to uh, his yai stance so he can continue his pressure uh, pretty well because on block this leads to plus frames so you can continue, for example, with EI down 2, which does a ton of damage. What's worth mentioning about Victor's heat move as well is up 1 plus 2. Up 1 plus 2 becomes safe during heat. Usually it's minus 20 on block. So let's talk about the most important combo starters for Victor. These are down for 2. While standing 1, 4 4 2, up 4 4. On counter hit, it's 1 plus 2. It's while standing 2. It's down big 4. It's Yai stands the second hit of the 4 2. From the perfume stand, the last hit of 2 2 1. Counter down big 3. Counter while running 2. And the last set of counted 1 to 1. So now the question is with all the information we got now is how do we start our offense? Our offense starts usually with moves that are pressuring our opponent. Like wire running 2, down 2 or 4 1 plus 2. All these three moves do chip damage. 6 chip damage on block for down 2. 10 chip damage for 4 1 plus 2 and 9 chip damage for while running 2. So even if the opponent blocks, it kind of hurts for him. And so he's starting to do keep out moves. Usually. <laughs> so when he does that, then you should be ready to move or move around the opponent and look for whiff punish opportunities. Like 1 1 2 or down for 2 at its best case. If you're scared about highs and want to do keep out tool as well, then go for down back 4. Otherwise, you got 1 plus 2 as a safe countered launcher, which is also great. But usually, you have very good tools, very good mid 
uh, to annoy your opponent. Then usually they will go for, they will try to get away from this pressure from you. And then you should be ready for keep outs or with punish opportunities. After knockout, you can also go manually into his perfumer stance to start your offense from it. If you want to switch back to the full crouch mix up, then you can press down forward while you're in perfumer. Then you automatically go into your full crouch and can perform your full crouch mix ups. Since we know now the offensive game plan of Victor, the other question is what is his defensive game plan? His defensive tools are 1 plus 2, a countered launcher, which is safe on block, 15 frames, and a weapon, so not parryable. Then he got his jabs, 1 2, which has also a third hit, which is also a countered launcher. If the third one hits. Uh, also, his while standing 2 is a countered launcher. If the, your opponent is pressuring you, while standing 2 can be quite useful as a weapon, so it's also not parryable. Then we got back 1 2. When you do back 1 itself and the opponent wants to punish it since it's minus 13 on block. Then you can press the second one, and this leads to a countered animation. Besides of that, you got as an high crush tool, down back free. Down back free itself is also a countered launcher. So also a good option if you think your opponent is doing a high. Besides of that, you got down back four. If you think your opponent is doing a high, it's also a countered launcher. Therefore, Victor's keep up moves are quite useful. Also worth mentioning is his power crush as a panic button. 50 frame long range power crush and heat engager. It's very good. So let's talk about the combos of Victor. He has very complex ones as well, but I will show you the most consistent ones, which does a ton of damage as well. The combos are always structured in the same way. It starts with a launcher, then there will be a filler, the tornado spin afterwards, and a combo ender. Now I, I will show you different examples of combos. Down for 2, down for 4, 2, 1, 1, dash down for 4, 2, 1, 2, 2. Another launcher with the same routine is while standing one. So here's the combo after countered one plus two. The combo after countered down back four is similar with down four four two. But you need to wait until Victor stands up. Now here's a combo with Victor which requires heat and does a lot of damage in the neutral. So let's talk about the wall combos of Victor. As a wall spread, you can use, for example, up for 1 1. As a tornado, you can use 4 4 2. Down 1 plus 2. Or while standing 3 2. After the tornado spin, you have a few options. For example, would be jab, down for 1, down for 3 plus 4. Or you can use a different one, which is 4 free delayed 2. Otherwise, the highest damaging one, which is consistent, is 4 2 2 into 1 1.
This wall ender you can also use after a two hit tornado spin. Okay, let's move on to the final thoughts of me, what I think about Victor overall. His strength are obviously his counter tools. Like he has safe counter tools or countered launchers from his while standing and from standing. While standing 2, 14 frame faster weapon, while running 2 and 1 plus 2. If you're just having good timings on your opponent's attacks, you can land a lot of damage since his combo damage is also very high. This is also one of his biggest strengths in this game. Also, when since he's using weapons, this means he can't get parried, which is also really good. Also, he has very good block punisher and with punisher since they have long range and aren't that risky, except for a few matchups. For example, down for two having a good range Back 3 1 plus 2 is also really good from its range. So, or 4 4 2 as a launcher from distance. Even his pistol, which is Quartzic 4 2, can be used from distance if you want to have a fat. So, he's really good at with punishing your opponent as well. So, what are the weaknesses of Victor, in my opinion? I think his tracking is not the best overall. Usually, you can sidewalk right his most important tools pretty easily. So this makes it different, difficult to stop your opponent to step since his tracking moves aren't the best. Like his homing up for two is okay, but the reward is not that high. And on block it's also minus nine. Also his pokes overall are not good. His slower moves are really good, but his fast tools besides of his jabs and down for one he doesn't have that many great pokes. Maybe down four in certain matchups, in many matchups. But uh, besides of that, he's not really a poke oriented character. He's just, uh, he's more in, into doing big moves and trying to get big damage out of it. Which can be good, but for a small poke heavy game, it's very difficult for Victor to keep up with. He needs to find the right opportunities with the keep out tools like 1 plus 2. So your timing needs to be good overall with this character. Otherwise you will struggle against fast characters. So what also makes him risky to play is his mix ups. The lows that he has got like down back 4 or full crouch down 1 plus 2 if you want to enter the mix-up situation, are quite risky. Using that can be uh, dangerous for you if you don't, if your opponent is blocking it. So my final thoughts about Victor. Victor is still a very good character in this game. He does high damage, is very scary with his keep out tools and his pressure is also very annoying to deal with. Overall, he fits pretty well in this game, but you need to have good skills to know your timings with the keep out tools since they can be stepped or walked and yeah overall he looks very cool like very elegant and a unique fighting style in Tekken 8. He's a very likable character in my opinion and I consider him to play him more. If you're having great whiff punish skills then he's definitely one of your type of characters because being patient, waiting for the right opportunity, but knowing when to get in with his pressure tools is very fun. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the text link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thank you for watching.